back to the broadcast. The CDC estimates 23,000 people die every year because antibiotics are powerless against their particular infection. So where did these so-called superbugs come from? As Dr. Bradley Jones will explain, it likely started with over-prescribing antibiotics. Hello. How Good are you to doing? see you. Nice to see you. Um, so yeah, this is a problem. We've talked about this before. So the question is, when is it okay to take antibiotics? and when should we stay away from them? In general, and I'm as guilty as anybody, we use it way, way too much. I mean, if you, if you look at the official data, and they've studied acute bronchitis and acute sinusitis, which is probably, how many times have been the doctor for that? Right. Two most common things. Yeah. In theory, you should never use antibiotics for those. Like a Z-Pack or anything right. like that? You should not use anything. You should use salt water rinses and decongestants and Ugh, mucus that means thinners. we don't live with that for no. weeks well, and they weeks. They did a study, and they did like placebo versus Z-Pack, and these huge studies. And you know what? With the Z-Pack, you got better in about 7 to 10 days, and with placebo, you got better in 7 to 10 days. Oh. I'd like to say something. When I get sinusitis, it is so bad, it stops me from speaking. When I take a Z-Pack and a steroid pack, I'm up the next day. Well, probably more, I that's, gotta a say that. probably more that's a steroid. But this was a double-blind study, so people didn't know what they were getting. And in that study, you can't, you, argue, with you can't argue with the double-blind yeah. study that said you got better the same with and without it. And most sinus infections and bronchitis are viruses. And how effective are antibiotics against viruses? They're zero. Not. Well, they're not really. They're, they're, oh, actually, zero. And actually make it worse, because then you're more likely to groom out bacteria that are resistant to the Z-Pack, that are resistant to, uh, to all the antibiotics. That's where you get these superbugs. So then you get them in your bad shape. Now, and the, then you should never take them? No, that's a good question. So there are some conditions you need to take antibiotics. One is strep throat. If you have strep throat, which I can do a culture in my office, or a, a, a quick swab in my office Ooh, in five I hate minutes. That swab. Yes, but it, big, in five minutes, I can tell you it's strep throat. If you don't treat strep throat with antibiotics, you can get heart disease, heart valve disease, uh, rheumatic fever. So that's one you always treat with antibiotics. Okay. Second is if you actually have pneumonia, okay? If you're yes. actually having true pneumonia with changes, when you know, I listen to your lung and I hear crackles or mm. things aren't right, or things that are lasting longer than a week or two, okay, then you start needing antibiotics. Okay. But, you know, you know, really, I encourage people to try to leg it out, take the decongestants, take your Tylenol, take your salt, no, neti pots and oh, Mucinex, so Sudafed. That, you, you said something interesting. You said, um, you know, sinus infections. Or So I hear the word infection and I think bacterial Bacteria. and you need antibiotics. Right. Um, so I understand that viruses are not necessarily a bacteria. They're complete opposite. Right. Yes. It's complete opposite. But if you're virus turns into some type of infection. Well, a virus isn't an infection, it's just a viral infection, which we don't have a treatment versus for. A bacteria. Versus a bacterial infection. Versus bacterial infection. infection. Right. Okay. I mean, I can give you every antibiotic known to man, and it's not going to kill that and virus. can a viral infection turn into a bacterial infection? Not really turn into. I guess you could have a second infection, okay. but they don't really, they don't convert. A virus is, you know, I had a friend the other day calls me up, I need a ZPAC, I got a sinus infection. I'm like, you know, I don't really know what you have. I really want you to go get tested. Oh, I'm feeling bad. I need to go in there. He finally goes in the care now. He has the flu. And yeah. he could have gotten the ZPAC all day long. It wouldn't have helped him. But with the flu, it was one virus. We actually have some medicines that help. Like Tamiflu will help mm -hmm. shorten the duration. So if you're here getting a ZPAC for your flu, I'm actually okay. hurting you. I want to know what, the, what is an antibiotic versus Tamiflu? What's, okay, what's Tamiflu the is an antiviral. Okay, it works on, on the flu virus. There's a, few anti very early. there's a few viruses we can treat, not very many, but a few that we can treat and help it if we catch it early. Mm -hmm. You know, we can treat, you know, for certain viruses, Tamiflu works on the flu. Um, you know, obviously there's other more serious viruses that we have, we treat, you know, HIV and stuff like that, they have some antiviral therapy for. But antibiotics work specifically on, on bacteria, okay? So, so worst case scenario, um, say, you know, five, ten years down the line, if, if we keep becoming so antibiotic resistant. I mean, is this something that, you know, I, I watched the movie Outbreak the yeah. other day. It was on, <laughs> it on uh, one of the stations. And so could, could that happen? Yeah, is that realistic? Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, that, you've heard of MRSA. Everybody's heard of MRSA. Yeah. Well, that's methicillin-resistant staph. That's because we've used so much uh, antibiotics, particularly the penicillin class, that now staph has mutated. and It's the, gotten smarter. It's gotten, it's smarter, gotten smarter, and now it doesn't work. And thank God we have a few others, but now they're starting to even mutate more. There's a few... There's a report out there of a gonorrhea that's resistant to all antibiotics. So what about, and, I mean, what does what the if, CDC get involved? I'm sorry, do they get involved and, and just put the kibosh on the antibiotics? No, they just encourage us. They encourage us and they encourage us and they encourage us. And I'm a realist. I, people come to me and I, I tell them, do nothing. They're going to get mad at me and go, right. to, the, go to the ER well, and get, and get a different antibiotic. Especially if you're taking your child in and what your child's vaccines? in pain. 
Now, vaccines are a great answer. You know, vaccines prevent illnesses. They prevent, you know, there's a pneumonia vaccine that most children get now. And, and meningitis everybody, now. Meningitis vaccines. There's all kinds of good vaccines. Flu vaccine, obviously. I gave it to you guys in the show last year. Mm -hmm. That's um, right. And I didn't that. get it. And you didn't get the flu. Right. So vaccines, <laughs> we need more vaccines and less antibiotics. What's the difference between a vaccine and an antibiotic? Vaccine is stimulating your body's own immunity to generate its own antibodies oh. so that you're walking down the street and so-and-so coughs in your face and here comes the flu virus, you've already got antibodies, you've got smart weapons your in your body, fight. it fights it off, you never get sick. So you're basically stimulating your body, the way we're designed is to stimulate antibodies. And antibiotics kind of kill your natural... Antibiotics are just killing the antibiotics themselves, killing the bacteria themselves. Okay. Not you I got you, but it makes your body lazy to but, actually fight right. it. Well, that's not what lazy, I was but it also for. Cause, it kills good bacteria with bad bacteria, so then you get this horrible diarrhea called C. diff that's rampant now, and it's a resistant diarrhea. I mean, it can put you in the hospital like that, and it's caused by antibiotics because you kill the wow. good bacteria Ooh. with the bad bacteria. Oh, right. my goodness. Ooh. Well, thanks for all this happy news today, <laughs> doctor. I appreciate it. <laughs> Let's end on diarrhea. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, How no, do you get it? It is good information, though, so get in touch with Dr. Bradley uh, by heading to our website at thebroadcasttv.com. Click on today's links, and you'll get all your info there. Um, coming up, we have some sound words of wisdom from our uh -oh. very own Susie Humphrey. <laughs> She's going to tell you what to take instead of antibiotics. <laughs> and <laughs> how, to get how to get diarrhea.